So today I thought I'd show you what goes into tossing a boss and silk song. Uh, so minor spoilers here for anyone who hasn't been to this early boss, but let me first go ahead and show it to you at full speed. So, as you saw, that was a pretty fast fight, but unfortunately we glitched out the music. I'm actually not sure exactly how that happened. So, we work our way into the fight. You can see that we are um, stopping and re-dashing periodically. That's slightly faster than uh, just running. And then we're going to dash down into the fight. In order to not hard fall, we use a down coco, and then we use a taunt to wake up Widow and start the fight. The actual process of the fight starting does take a little while. So these animations play out. And so the tricky thing about Widow is that Widow has this tendency to want to warp to wherever you aren't. So right now we're going to be able to dash over. Shortly after the scream finishes, we'll be able to get a quick hit in. And I think this hit is actually probably what broke the music. Um, but we're gonna do a dash attack. We're using dash attacks in this fight pretty frequently, actually. So we get a dash attack off, Widow disappears. Now we go to the right to make Widow respawn on the left. We use a spear to get a quick hit in. And then uh, while the bell is falling, we're gonna go ahead and get a couple of hits in. We do a dash hit. And then we do a spear. Uh, we use the fact that out of the uh, dash hit, you can do a spear immediately without having to wait for a cooldown. There's just barely enough time to get underneath that bell. And then we do another dash attack, a slash attack. And there's actually just enough space here that we can just stand next to Widow and do some up slashes while the bell falls. And it just barely misses us. Once again, we have to dash out of the way because Widow switched to the other side. So dash attack, spear, very common pattern we're doing. Um, now we get a stagger, and then we're going to come in and do another couple of slashes during the stagger here. And then we're gonna do a pogo spear, which also gives us a cancellation off of the animation. So you can get some nice efficient damage in. This takes a little while to get to the other side, but again, we can use a dash attack. And then slash, slash, and then when Widow moves further back to try to bait us into going to the bells, we go ahead and accept the challenge. Do a slash, do one more slash, and then we need to get out of there before the bells fall. We make it out of there just in time. And then this is awkward. We have to get pretty high up to actually reach Widow. So we're just gonna queue up a spear to hit from across the screen. Now thankfully Widow is going to come back toward us, so we're just going to go jump up and then we're going to do a pogo down into a spear. And that works pretty efficiently. Now this part's a little bit awkward. We're going to pogo attack in and then we're going to get a couple of slashes in and then pogo into spear. Nice and clean. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can do about this sequence. We just have to pogo these things until they're gone. From Tassa's perspective, this part is actually pretty slow. But then we know that Willow is going to be coming to the left again. We timed it so that uh, we arrive just in time. Dash attack. And then here it's doing the uh, fake out. 
where Widow pretends to be dead for the first phase. And there happens to be just enough time to be able to get one more hit in before Widow uh, warps away. So we head down here and then we do an up slash and get one little last hit in. Now we're gonna set up for the next phase. Once again, we have to go to the right so that Widow will spawn on the left. Widow always wants to spawn on the opposite side of the screen. But we're able to preempt it because we know the future is Taz. We're able to get a couple of slashes in before the screen pippins happens. Um, I've debated doing a screen skip here. The problem is that we would have to remove some of our damage tanks from the previous sequence. It probably would still save time just because the screen does take a pretty long time to execute. Now we can get a couple more slashes in. Once again, you can do uh, Pogo Spear. And then we sleep right underneath that bell there, get a couple other slashes in. Do a little bit of a cheeky dodge there to follow Whittle while she's doing her run across the screen attack. And get one last spear in right before she goes. Then we can do another dash in and slash. Uh, this part's a little bit fun. If you upswing uh, right as the bell is about to hit you, you can actually deflect it. So fun little trick. Then we do another dash attack into a spear. I love that combo. And then now we should be able to do a pogo into a spear. And the timing on that worked out nice to dodge underneath that bell. And then Widow's almost dead, only needs one more nail hit. And there you have it. That's how Tass does the Widow fight.